Good afternoon and welcome to The Matt and Alicia Show, where Alicia and I come to you every Friday where we talk to you about business, life, and marriage. So today, Alicia, we're talking about uh, marketing, we're talking about getting out there, getting known, um, and how to create more business for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you had a couple topics you wanted to touch on for marketing, what are those? Yeah, for marketing, like, people just don't do enough of it. I feel like, especially locally, like, we think, oh, I'll just start small, you know, I'll, I'll grow organically, mm -hmm. I don't need to put myself out there, I don't want to grow too fast, and all of those things, like, we logic ourselves into that thinking, and a lot of the times it's not necessary, like, you, you need money to grow, you need to get yourself out there so you can make money, so you can grow, and it's like this cycle, but we tell ourselves differently. We tell ourselves, yeah. like, we don't need to do that, or, like, it's not worth it, or the money doesn't matter, what, but at the end of the day, you need to pay your bills, and that's important. <laughs> And you know, two things there. One is, do you do you think you can ever market enough? I don't think so. I honestly don't. I mean, like obviously, there's something to say about like paying your other bills and like being able to do all of that. But for the most part, I don't think I've seen anyone, maybe besides Coca-Cola, do too much marketing. <laughs> yeah. So you know, uh, I don't think that you can do too much marketing because um, if you're doing marketing correctly and putting it out there. Um, and consistently put it out there over and over and over and trying to grow that, mm -hmm. that's just gonna reach new people, new audiences, and you're gonna be able to be top of mind um, mm -hmm. for whatever your industry is, right. whatever product or service you provide. Right. And by being top of mind always in front of new audiences, we're gonna be able to actually uh, create that new business. Right. New business and that follow-up business with past mm -hmm. clients. You know, making sure that we're getting back in front of them, reminding them of the great service or product that they have. Right. So you're talking about remarketing. You're basically talking about like, okay, I talked to these people once, I marketed it to them once, but that's that's not the end of the end of the game. You can't just say, I marketed once this year, so I'm I'm good to go. You gotta keep keep following up to make sure that you actually close that deal. Like we've had places where like we thought someone was like good to go and then they're like, oh, I went with so-and-so and maybe that was because we didn't market enough or maybe it's because they had the wrong information. Some people think, oh, like he, I worked with him for 15 minutes so maybe he gets a, a small commission on that. But that's not the way real estate works. Whoever writes the offer or gets the referral makes the money. Yep. Yeah. So you always want to make sure that you're doing the retargeting. Make sure you're doing the remarketing to the people that uh, you've worked with. Um, people who know you, uh, people who have uh, done business with you in the past, and making sure you're reaching new audiences so that while you're building your past sold clients, you're also building the new client base, and then together you're building the whole business because of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, we talked about that. So, um, you know, and also there's a lot of people who are like, uh, you mentioned just paying bills. You know, that's, sh you should, yes, you should be able to pay the bills, but on the flip side of that, um, people who are getting tight on their budget, people who are, they're blaming on the economy or, or whatever it is, they don't have enough money coming in for the bills. If that's your concern, isn't that the time to market the most? Yeah, yeah, so I love what Matt said. Sometimes there's points where you're like, oh, I really need to pay like whatever it is, like a phone bill. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, I need to pay this phone bill, but like maybe the phone bill creates production, but maybe your, um, whatever else bill doesn't. So you need to put money towards the things that are gonna produce more income for you. Um, and sometimes that's a little bit more counterintuitive than what you think it is. Yeah, so um, that's why you should be looking at, hey, when things are rough, you got into that rough patch because you weren't marketing, right? Right. You know, so when you get in that rough patch, how are you gonna get out of there? Well, it's gonna be production. It's gonna be um, getting in front of new clients. It's gonna be selling some products. And you're not gonna be able to do that without that marketing, without people knowing who you are, mm -hmm. knowing what you do, and what products and services you provide. Mm -hmm. So instead of withdrawing yourself, instead of backing out of um, advertising or getting known or networking or whatever it is that brings you in new clients, you mm -hmm. should be pushing into that more and spending more time, more energy, and more money on that marketing. Right, so there's multiple types of marketing. There's push marketing and there's pull marketing. Mm -hmm. One of them is like pulling people into you, so like if you do a Facebook ad, it's like, sure it's in front of them, but they still have to click through. And then there's push marketing where you like, you could call it like direct sales, I guess. Okay. Like you could go to that person, you could go to companies directly and say, hey, I would love to work with you, here's what I offer. So I'm um, gonna kind of diversify in that aspect as well. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. 
So yeah, so today's whole thing is, you know, get out there, push it, push yourself. Um, you should be marketing yourself. You should be putting yourself out there so people know who you are, what you're doing. This right here, this is a live stream over Facebook. People are watching, people are tuning in. They know the Matt Melicio show, it's consistent. We're here every Friday about the same time. We're talking about business, life, and marriage, right? And so this is a way that Alicia and I can market ourselves as a couple for Precision Home Group and our other companies. You know, there's many different forms of marketing. Not all of them are gonna be big, that you need big marketing budgets to be able to do. Right, yeah, so you don't necessarily need a big budget, but you need the things that you do do uh, to be effective. They need to have exactly. good, like high, like high conversion rates, high targeting, so um, you gotta know your market, know what people are going to respond to, and how to get in front of them in a creative way that they'll remember. Exactly. So if you have any questions on marketing, um, Alicia is actually the brains behind marketing for Precision Media, Precision Home Group, um, for Alicia Lindsay Photography and everything else that we're in. So if you have any questions about marketing, I'm gonna direct you straight to Alicia. Send her a direct message. She is tagged in this link. Easy to find everywhere. Um, Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, everywhere, right? So just get in contact with Alicia and uh, send her your questions. Send her any comments you have, anything like that, and she will definitely get back to you. Absolutely. Anything else you have before we take off? That, that does it. Okay, well thanks for tuning in to the Matt and Alicia show. Make sure you hit that like, uh, subscribe, and follow.